So guys, we are currently waiting on the trout and there's a huge line. And there are even people behind us as you can tell on the window. Can you guys see the reflection of the lights? But there's thousands of car and the park's probably gonna get full. But we're here in line for the trout stocking and we're gonna try fishing for trout. The guys, we're still heading in and there's still a long line ahead of us. But we're almost in, look at all those cars we're passing. It's gonna be hard to find parking. And look at the time, it's still 6.03. We got here like around five, uh, actually no, hitting six, but we left like at 5.30 from our house. Let's use some trout sense. Es un pescado, espérate, espérate. Suste, suste en la para arriba y apunta la para adelante. Enreda quedito y ya, y ahí está, espérate. Y cuando te den el jalón, lentamente del jalón para arriba. Espérate, deja que se lo lleve. ¿Se siente piquetes o no? Sí. Deja que se lo lleve. Yo puedo traer con el suelo muy grande. Dale jalón, dale jalón, dale jalón. Y otra vez, dale jalón, dale jalón, dale jalón. Sí, deja, a verte. La tengo. Got him. Nice little shot on. Is the camera for you? Yeah. That one. Four pound test. First one on. Yeah. Yeah. Bad one actually. Mm. No. No, me shut this out. Let's finalize this trial. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Mira pa, oh ya, ya, enreda, 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 tú puedes, quedito, 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 y para abajo, punta la caña para abajo, ok, so my dad's hooked up to a trout, quedito, 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 nice one, yeah, here we go, alright guys, so let's remove this hook from this trout, oh, I see it, let's see, Sit. Sit. There we go. Got this buddy. There we go. Another one in. Pa, 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 tu caña. Tu caña, dale jalón, dale jalón. Ahí está. You got one? You got one? Caña para abajo, caña para abajo. Apunta. Apunta para abajo. Oh, la tienes. La tienes. La tienes. Sí. Alright, my dad has a trout. No la, no la jales duro, no la jales duro. Tienes hilo de cuatro libras. Let's get this hook out. Mm. Mi hilo está muy grueso. Tengo hilo de... No, el tu... no, está bien, está bien. Está bien. Otro también. ¿Dónde está? Quedito, quedito. No se la lleva. 
Por ahora, ahora, ya, ahí está, ahí está, ahí está. Enreda, enreda, enreda. Ahí está, ahí está, ya la tienes. Que no se te vaya para allá. ¿Está grande? Que no se te vaya. Arrastra la abajo. Nice one. Se me da el topo ya. Oh no. ¿No estamos enredados? Sí. ¿No? Sí. Oh. Let's put this dude in. Guys, we're about to open these up and make sure they're clean for the catch and cook. All right, guys, here back in the house for the catch and cook. We have the chow here, put some strips to them so they can get nice and fried. They're opened up, cleaned up. I didn't want to do the gutting part for these trout. And then we got the fish fry and then some other fish fry, different styles. This one's crispy and this one is just a uh, lemon added. Uh, we got some Everglades fish and chicken, which I bought in Florida. And we got some lemon pepper, which one of my cousins taught me how to put, add it onto the fish and I really liked it. So we're about to do a bit of light coating of Everglades, just a light bit coating because it's really salty, and some lemon pepper. And this is just so it gets nice and uh, fried from the outside. Uh, we're not going to put too much of this as I would regular, regularly do, but hopefully you guys enjoy the catch and cook and let's start. Alright, let's uh, add a bit of this fish fry. A bit of this. Not too much, like I said, it makes it really salty. Just an even coat on all the sides. Make sure every fish is nicely covered. There we go. Then we're gonna bust open the lemon pepper. Just make sure it all has a nice little even coat. It's fine if some sides are missing a bit. We just want it to be mostly even, you know? Alright, now let's get the insides of the fish. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do these one by one, but you guys get the point. And I'm gonna cut the video to the part where I'm basically ready to fry them up. We're ready for the light cover of the breading mix. And we're ready to go. So we got one trout down. Got a second trout down. Third trout. Fourth. We're not cooking all of them today, by the way. And fifth. All right, and this is how we're gonna be cooking them in. Pretty sure it's made of copper or something. Uh, we got the flames down here. But we're gonna fill this up with oil and we're gonna deep fry them in here. Hopefully it turns out great. Just gotta be really careful with this because if it has a dot of water, you don't want that to get mixed up with the oil. Skin that dipped in. About to fry them. For now, we just got that so uh, she won't fly off the piece of towel. And then we got that fish boiling in here. Check that out. We got this side right here. And we're going to take that off the camera off again. Alright, so we're just taking this one out. And we're about to take it out and try it out, see if it's ready. All right guys, this is the final result. This is the trout and some rice. We're about to give it a taste test to see if this tastes good or not. All right, let's try it out and see if this tastes good or not. To be honest, this tastes a lot like largemouth bass and I do like that taste, but 
mango snapper and stuff like that would definitely beat this in the taste test. But overall, thank you guys for watching the video, and please remember to like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.